Welcome back to Headphones Neil Reviews. I'm your host, as always, Headphones Neil, bringing you my latest set of reviews and updates and all that usual fun stuff. So with that being said, let's jump right into a quick and easy review in the form of Linkin Park's latest album, From Zero. So I had a chance to listen to it only once so far, and overall, it is a very good album. Um, you do have the undertones of missing Chester Bennington, but Emily Armstrong as the new um, lead singer does a very good job. She has her own unique style that doesn't aim to replace what Chester did, but does keep up to the themes and spirit of um, Linkin Park as a band. So for me, I definitely recommend giving her a chance and listening to it. For me, I enjoy the whole thing. Um, you do have a good mix of um, you know, prior history of Linkin Park albums, so if you listen to any one of them, then you're gonna get that same feel just with a different lead singer, but they kept to that whole um, style and vibe of the band, so I think every, um, people will enjoy it. Um, yes, you do, we all do miss Chester, and it, you know, we wish he was still around, but Emily does a very good job, and um, I can't wait to listen to the album that much more. So that's From Zero. Um, on most streaming services, it looks like it's just a regular album, but if you buy it straight from Linkin Park's website, um, you can get a couple of the live performances from the album. So um, the other thing is Emptiness Machine, Heavy as a Crown, and the other one, the third single that they released. So overall very good album i enjoyed it i want to listen to it more and it, with different speaker setup so i used my regular beats headphones and they sounded good so i want to try it with some noise canceling headphones on a, uh, you know my surround sound system and all of that for good stuff um with that being said i had a chance to also watch the season finale for the penguin and a show that landed the ending as much as the rest of the show built up his character and we finally have him taking out um sophia and becoming a legitimate um crime boss so overall very well done his mom falls into a coma and we see how it troubles him even though she knew what he did to his brothers and we have the episode closing with the bad signal lighting up so I almost wonder to the point where if the end of the Penguin is going to be where the Batman 2 or maybe if there's going to be a Batman miniseries is going to start and deal with the effects of what the Penguin did. You know, maybe the police can't seem to catch him. There's too much violence going on and it's more than what the GCPD can handle. So now they've called in the Batman, which makes me wonder if it's also going to be more of a new version of Batman where he only deals with the... Uh, you know, big criminals, the large elements, the stuff that the criminals that the GCPT can't figure out, handle, catch, or anything like that. So, well, I'll see. But overall, I definitely recommend watching The Penguin. And if you're not too sure about it, I did also rewatch The Batman with Robert Pattinson. And that's a good pre prelude into the show. Uh, the movie holds up on its own. Um, we do have the penguin in there we see his relationship with carmine falcone and all of that stuff and the transition from that into the penguin tv series works really well so i do recommend watching them both hand in hand if you've never seen either so watch the batman and then the penguin but if you've seen the batman then you kind of get that same vibe in the penguin tv show um with that being said um that's really the bulk of it um, I continued playing Real Coaster. It's getting to the point where it's taking a little bit longer than a week to finish the levels. So I'm going to probably stick to the usual Saturday release for whatever gameplay that I've had a chance to finish by that set, by each Saturday. So it's not necessarily going to be a strict um, week over week uh, level completion. So um, I haven't decided how I'm going to handle the release if I happen to, you know, finish the level shortly after the Saturday release date, if I'm going to wait till the following weekend or just release it um, at some point during the week. But uh, regardless, just look out for those releases and 
I hope you're enjoying those gameplays. It serves as a good idle game, as the name suggests. Um, I've also continued playing Ev Eternity 2, and the levels continue to be um, beautiful, puzzling, interesting, uh, well developed, and all of that. Um, I'm almost done with episode two, and the reason for that is I'll jump into that when I get into the final review for this week. But um, overall, I'm enjoying it. If you, depending on when you hear this episode, I'll either be almost done with episode two or just finish it and getting ready for episode three. But um, I don't have anything much to say at the moment since I'm still in the middle of it. But overall, it is a very good, um, well-developed game. Very beautiful. Music is good and all that. So... Um, definitely recommend playing it if you haven't played it yet, but it is a fun mod so far, so I hope you guys are enjoying that gameplay. Um, to round out this particular episode though, um, I did have a chance to check out go, or go to Knott's Berry Farm for this month, and I had a chance to check out some of the pre-Knott's Berry Farm decorations. I say pre because it doesn't officially start until around November 22nd or so, so they're still putting up a lot of the decorations, the, a lot of the entertainment and the food and drinks and things like that are not quite rolled out yet. So. Um, I have a link in the sh um, episode guide with the photos and the video, a slideshow that I have that are pretty much one and the same just depending on how you want to watch them or look at them, but um, I took a, there's a few decorations up already, most are the, so the same so far, the one notable different one was the big teddy bear in Camp Snoopy, so um, if you go prior to Mary Farm starting then you're not going to have too much going on, but if you go after then um, it's still definitely one of the good seasonal things to check out between the events and activities they have going on, the seasonal food and drink, and all of that good stuff. So I wanted to share what I have there. Um, so far, so good. And um, it was a very relaxing day. It was pretty quiet. There were a few uh, groups there, but um, most of the lines moved quickly and um, it was enough to get or easily get through 10,000 steps in the day. So. Um, just wanted to share that so nothing major as of yet. Maybe for December I'll have a proper review of Mary Farm, but um, just looking at the stuff they have going up at the moment, um, if you've never visited Knott's Berry Farm during, during their Mary Farm events, I do definitely recommend checking it out based on prior experience. So that's all there is for this particular episode and review. So if you have any questions, comments, feedback, or anything like that, you can comment on this post. Um, the link, they're all linked at, on the, all the social media sites are linked up on the website at headphonesneal.reviews. Um, the gameplay videos and all that stuff is up on the YouTube channel at youtube.com slash pateln01. The Patreon is patreon.com slash pateln01 for a ad-free version of the show, early access, early access to the video version as well, and all of that stuff. Um, so thanks for tuning in. And then of course for next week's episode, um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to watch Gladiator 2 opening weekend, but I am re-watching Gladiator 1. I don't think I've seen it for a good 20 years or so. I think it came out around 2000 or so. But I also learned in doing a little bit of uh, research is that there is a Gladiator Extended Edition, which adds about like 20 or 30 minutes of content. So I am watching that. So for next week's episode, I am going to do a review of the first Gladiator to see how it holds up. Does it, is it as much as I remember? What parts of it do I remember? What did I forget? And all of that usual stuff. Um, and then the otherwise the usual reviews for the week and whatever else comes up for me to watch, review, talk about, and all of that stuff. But that's all there is for this abbreviated version of the show. So um, thanks for tuning in, subscribing, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. But thanks for tuning in, and until next time.